why passive vents fail. So what I mean, what does fail mean? It's like, well, fail means that we have an overheated attic. It's 100 degrees outside in the summer and we got a 140, 150, 160 degree attic. That's a failure and you failed your customer because their house is hard to cool, high electric bills, the roof's not gonna very long, so that's why I call it a fail. What, uh, if it wasn't a failure, what's the opposite of failure is, well, that's success. Well, how do we do that? Well, we can do that with some solar ventilation. But the reason these passive vents are gonna fail is a couple things. Either we don't have enough intake, so that's, we gotta have air coming into the attic space, but let's assume we have good, decent soffit vents, because we're on the roof and we're taking care of the roof, so that's what we're focused on. The reason they're gonna fail is like we're not, we don't have enough attic height to create enough, enough natural draw, so we need 15 feet of height. That 15 feet is gonna to start to create a natural upward trend or up, upward draw. And then we need three feet of ridge vent per 100 square feet of attic space. So you can do CFM calculations and things. We've kind of uh, simplified it. We have a, a chart that's very easy to, to look at and to use, and basically how it works is, you go look, how many square feet is the attic? We'll say the attic's 2,000 square feet, and how tall is the attic? We'll say it's eight feet tall. Well, that's gonna tell you how many fans you'd need. That's gonna be like two fans. So you can look at it. Well, we got 3,000 square feet, and we got a, a 12, height of 12 feet, well, we, okay, that's gonna be three fans. So you can look at these charts and kind of figure out what you need. It's very, very simple. We used to have to do like CFM calculations and oh my gosh, people would get all confused and a house that probably needed two fans, they put one in or they ended up putting four in. I was like, I didn't know I put four in. It's like, you, you overdid it. On the other hand, you really can't overdo it as long as we have good intake. So it's always a balance, but we wanna get it right. So that's why we come, came up with this chart, something that we've done recently and it has been a super success. Everybody's gotten away from the calculator and they just use the chart. So you can just look at attic height and how many square feet the attic is, tell me how many fans you need. So super easy. But the reason they're gonna fail is we're not getting enough air exchanges per hour. That's really what it all boils down to. So the height, not enough length, or if we have like passive vents where it's just uh, like a static vent, 12 inch hole, well it's just basically letting a little heat out. That's all it's doing. You take that same hole that's maybe 12 inch hole, that's about 50, 60 CFM of airflow. You put a solar fan on there, now it increases it to 1,550. So I tell customers all the time, it's like you need like 20 of these static vents to equal one solar attic ventilation. And the other thing about solar ventilation is it's gonna shut off in the winter if we're not, if we're not heating these, these temperatures so we're not sucking all the heat out of your house. So lots of benefits to that. So this is the reason they're gonna fail. So make sure, if you have any questions, you can always uh, reach out to us. We can answer those questions, but watch these videos and it'll really make sure you're dialed in. But that's why they're gonna fail. Not enough height and not enough length or um, soft venting. Thank you.